Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and this video is all is going to be all about um, homeschooling STEM, but we're going to focus on science and we're going to focus on insects, bugs, birds. Now, this is a great topic to do with younger children, but it can also be done really well and really fun with older kids as well. Especially things like um, birds and bird watching. There are a lot of adults who actually love bird watching. So I'm going to show you just some of the resources that we have for insect study and why I do some of the things I do to really ex extend the topic as much as I can. So, um, I have things like this, like, uh, like this is a butterfly's coloring book. And the reason why I like books like this, I can just copy the pages on the copy machine, but if you only have one or two kids, you can just use the pages. But um, I, t I like to, you know, we circle back to stuff, so I'll just copy the pages out and keep using those. But um, each page, you actually have information about the butterfly. And so you don't have to use kind of a, you know, an entire curriculum. Even things like these um, coloring books and things, they can be really, really good and really um, full of information, the same type of information that you would get in a um, textbook, but uh, no coloring books. Um, another thing that I like is this book. I actually picked this up from Costco a couple of years ago, and it's The Wonders Inside, um, Bugs and Spiders, and it's a really fun book, large print, beautiful pictures, and it's chock full of snippets of information. See that that's spread across two pages. Isn't that fun? Um, so it's just a wonderful book with kids because the pictures are so big and so beautiful, and but it has really good information as well. So I really like that book. Um, we can always pull out my encyclopedia of animals because even though it has um, other animals in it, you're going to have um, lots of information on insects and bugs and birds in, in it as well. So grab your um, encyclopedia of animals. You guys can get these from... The library, uh, this says I got it at a, on a reg tat sale. I actually think I probably picked this up at a yard sale because I don't remember purchasing it. But <laughs> um, Another thing that I like, uh, Magic School Bus. Um, they have tons of these. You can get these from your local library. I um, bought a bunch of them. This is Gets Ants in the Pants. They also have Magic School Bus DVDs that focus on ants, butterflies, um, those sort of things. So look for Magic School Bus DVDs and books um, really well for the topic of, um, uh, this is a bug dictionary and it's, um, it's really fun. Has um, little information about lots of, not just the traditional bugs that you see all the time, but this one talks about cicadas who have very interesting stories and the click beetle and that sort of stuff. So it's really fun um, for younger children. These I love. These are bird watch sticker books. They're kind of like passport books. So they have these beautiful pages. And then in the middle, as your kids watch for birds, as they identify and see different birds, they would take those pictures out and put them in their passport book. And they can see how many birds they can spot in a month, in six months, in a year. So that's really great. Another thing that I suggest having binoculars. There's all different types of binoculars. These are cheaper uh, binoculars. You can get those for a few bucks. Um, heavier binoculars tend to have stronger lenses. Um, Smaller binoculars are going to work well for smaller faces. You want to have adjustable, if at all possible. And then if you have a child that might really get into bird watching and that sort of stuff, then you want to have kind of your larger, more um, powerful 
binoculars as well but um, just getting a cheap pair of binoculars can really just change your child's world there also you can find little kits on how to make your own binoculars I got a kit from Oriental Trading on making your own binoculars that was really fun another thing that I like is just little sticker books that have a lot of stickers or lots of different stickers they can use for arts and crafts projects to really talk about that um, this was fun I got this I think I got this from discount school supply but you can also get it off of Amazon and it is um, bug pictures right but then it also has x-rays isn't that fun so you can see the outside and the inside of animals and the the um, of, of insects and the insect pictures and x-rays their names are not on the x-rays in the pictures the names are actually on this the little paper and so your child can match the pictures and find the x-rays and if you are one where you don't really want to go out and catch bugs and cut them open yourself or if you have some ethical issues with um, dissecting animals or you just think it's gross and nasty <laughs> these things are great because you don't have to do all the dissection and all that kind of stuff but your children can see what's inside of them um, another way for your child to see what's inside of animals are books like these these are called uncover this is tarantula and these books are fun because as you open the book you just strip off various levels so you get to see more and more inside the animal in each page you turn you just it focuses on a different system that's really showing so this is a, a fun book this one is on tarantula you can find it you can find these like at Hobby Lobby and um, of course on Amazon for different animals they don't have a whole lot but as far as uh, tarantula this was awesome this is another thing that I like. It, it's a great little project, arts and crafts project. These are rubbing plates, and they're different animal rubbing plates. And is it easy? insect rubbing plates. And your kids will be able to make really cool little art projects with these rubbing plates. So as they're studying different animals and stuff, you know, the, the thing with, with, with this type of stuff, even still, you still, it's just about experience in it. It's just about um, letting your child kind of flow with it and, and have their way with it and, you know, go outside and look around and see a bug and come inside and look it up in the dictionary, find a rubbing plate so that they can, so it doesn't have to be real put out there for them. It doesn't have to be a specific thing where you say, today is Tuesday and by gosh, we are going to study ants. Let's go. It's about going outside, looking down and seeing, oh, wow, here's an ant or here's a caterpillar. Let's, you know, go, go look up stuff on that. Another thing that I really, really love, let me find the book. Okay, these books, these are Discovery Kid books and it's on, like this one is on Caterpillar to Butterfly. Uh, there's oh yeah see yeah, like so it's butterfly it's caterpillar and it goes through the life cycle and butterflies silk moths all those things are really really great for showing life cycles frogs are really great for showing life cycles so we have these books and another thing that I have is actually different um, like the life cycles little models of the life cycles of animals so your kids can actually see it through and we have the silk worm or silk moth um and it, it you know like we have you know lots of different of these life cycle kits and mine are all thrown in there together so the kids have to st study the life cycle to even see what matches up with what because i'm sure i'm not matching it up right now but it's fun because these things they this can't be seen with the naked eye so when your child is reading about things in the book especially young children it's hard to get a grasp of that concept but if they can feel it and see it and touch it and play with it it's so cool and another thing I bought these for a dollar in a dollar bin at Target but sometimes you can find these little bugs and stuff at the dollar store when you see things different little things like this just grab it I mean how much fun 
is it to just have these little spiders and stuff and one thing that I actually realized was that a lot of these things were pretty accurate as far as how the bugs were supposed to look and you would think there's no way that all these little bugs and things they're not accurate they're just throwing these things together but um, a lot of times they actually work pretty hard to try to make these little things as accurate as possible so and these are big these are great for really really littles um, as well as for um, older kids that just want to touch and see and 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 really kind of play with things and manipulate things so th that's really good so I would definitely say grab that hands-on stuff as much as possible and then this is just you know another bird book these books you can buy these, these Dover books on Amazon for a relatively um, low price and you see like the inside it shows you what they would look like an artist rendition of how they look in nature um, and then your child has an opportunity to color these pictures themselves and of course one thing that I'm not gonna show because I don't have to show that is get out there guys get out there um, insects birds bugs that is a science area where you can just go out there and just have fun with it you don't have to catch stuff and bring it in and cut it open I don't catch stuff and bring it in and cut it open but we do go out there and we look we have different magnifying glasses um, where we can we have bug catchers where you put the bug inside and then look at it through a magnifying glass and then open it up and let it go bird watcher uh, I mean a bird feeder oh my goodness if you guys are gonna study birds get a bird feeder now especially if you're in a cold climate the big thing about a bird feeder is once you put a bird feeder up with the with the, especially if you have a water and a um, food feeder you want to make sure that you do uh, keep making sure that you put um, seed in it um, over the winter time because once you attract birds to your yard um, it you know you, you want to make sure that you keep feeding them and, and keep making sure they have a water source and all that so you don't attract them to your yard and they starve and die because you um, made them kind of like wild pets and then you didn't follow through so that's the only thing with having a bird a bird feeder you want to make sure that you keep it stocked um, and you will also attract squirrels so uh, just just know that but um, I know when we got our bird feeder when we first put it up I started to see the most beautiful birds that I had never seen before and I'm, I'm not really a nature person I, 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 I wasn't but these birds were just so beautiful and they just caught my interest and I started to look at them and the same thing with the kids the kids would would kind of be able to say they were like that one's having babies and we had so many nests in trees we still do so many nests and trees and different things like that just from having that bird feeder and that's allowing the kids to really get up close and see different parts of nature so um, definitely bugs birds bees are just as much a, a part of stem as computer technology so what I want you guys to remember when it comes to homeschooling stem is that science technology engineering math those are really really broad subjects okay these, these are broad subjects so don't don't make it too narrow don't make it too narrow let it go as wide and as far as your children want to take it because science is a huge field and there's room for everybody and you want it to be as hands-on as possible show your kids that you're learning with them and you're growing with them and and you know we're all um, here to learn and have fun and grow so I hope that helps um, and if you have any questions definitely put them in the comment box below if you want to know where I got some resources oh here's one thing that I didn't show that's one this is a this is a music CD that um, kids get excited about insects and it has um, 12 songs just true bugs lady bro ladybugs um, what is a spider that sort of stuff so we do different things like that as well you know just have the songs playing they tend to be fun silly kid songs but the kids really enjoy it so hope that helps this is Dr. J and I'm out bye bye